What is going on guys? Long time no see. Break Haven here with another fragrance review. You may know me as Haven Lee since, but you can follow me on Instagram at Break Haven. And I'm gonna kick off this year with a fragrance that I just purchased today. I haven't even opened it yet, but I can smell it through the box. We're gonna talk about Cremo. If any of you guys are familiar with this brand, I first found this brand in Target. Uh, it was a sandalwood soap called Palo Santo. Anybody who knows me, they know that sandalwood is my favorite fragrance note. I love sandalwood. And this is the Palo Santo fragrance. Now, I just purchased this off of Amazon for I think about $17. So I'm like, you know what? If it smells anything like the soap, then of course I'm gonna wanna smell the fragrance. So I'm gonna do a unboxing right now and give you my thoughts. And I can smell it through the box. So that lets me know that it, it's pretty strong. And not only that, it does smell like the soap even through the box. So let's open it up. Let's go ahead and open this song up. Let's see what we got. All right, I'm gonna open this. Oops, top came off. Well, it's in there nice and snug, so that's a good thing. And voila. Now this bottle, even though this fragrance costs $17, this bottle is really nice. Like, I wonder how much these bottles cost because you have the engraving on them, on the glass. That has to be pretty expensive and they have just a little label on the front. So I'm sure they buy the bottles in bulk and then they just obviously, you know, put the, the fragrance smell or the name of it on the front. So right now it smells exactly like sandalwood. So let's, let's look at the sprayer. Pretty good sprayer, a very misty sprayer. And it smells exactly like the soap, which smells like sandalwood. Now there's levels to sandalwood. I typically like a smooth, creamy sandalwood, but the sandalwood that you would smell in a Centile 33, I always describe that as a salty sandalwood. It's very, it's very, it's very sharp and it's very, it's very salty. This is more so like Centile 33. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with Centile 33. I kind of made myself like it because it was very popular. And, and it's pretty good, but there's no way I'd spend $180 on a bottle. It would never happen. At most, I would buy a partial from someone from a, from a Facebook group, but no way I'd buy a bottle because I just don't like it that much. But I do like it nonetheless. This smells more like Centile 33. Absolutely, I would buy this over Centile 33 because of the price difference. It smells almost exactly like it and it's significantly cheaper. So absolutely, this would be my version of Centile 33 without question. Another fragrance, if you want to find an alternative to Centile 33, there's a fragrance and I hope I'm not messing up the name. It may be, I don't know if it's Glenwood or if it's another, another one by uh, Scotch Porter that also smells like Santile 33. But just to give you guys uh, an example of what this smells like, once again, Palo Santo smells like Santile 33. Now, there's some people that say that Santile 33 smells like pickles. I cannot fathom how that's possible, but if you think that Santile 33 smells like pickles, then you're probably gonna say that this smells like pickles as well because they smell almost ex exactly alike. Um, so I'll give, you, I'll give you guys an update as far as CIs and projection, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna do exactly what Santile 33 does, even though this is an Ouda toilet. But sandalwoods like this, they just tend to last. They just do, okay? So I, I don't think I'm gonna have any problems with Siage and all of that other good stuff. I'm pretty certain that even though this is an EDT, it's gonna do what needs to be done. And you probably can't even spray it too heavy. I'm about to go take a shower and spray this on just to really, you know, put it on some nice clean skin. But I did wanna give you guys a review on this because I hope to do a review on all of their fragrances by Cremo. Very affordable. At this point in my life, I'm really focused on the quality of a fragrance, not necessarily a fragrance that has to be expensive. This is gonna fit that bill and definitely try this out, Palo Santo. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.